Uh, namaste. Uh, it is, uh, it is a very early morning. Uh, uh, here in New York, almost one o'clock, uh, in the morning. So I wanted to make this short so I can, uh, get to know you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, maybe just ten or fifteen minutes so I can get to talk with you and uh, meet you before I officially come to UGI in person uh, in yes. my garage. So, uh, my dad has told me a lot of great things about you, so that's why I wanted to meet online uh, very quickly, uh, just to get to know about you and UGI. The Vice President of United Group of Institutions, UGI, here with us. So, I... Uh, yeah. Namaste. 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 And uh, I am Dr. Divya Bhartaria and uh, I am taking I am the professor in chemistry over here. Along uh, with that, I am taking care of placements, placements of uh, all the students, right? Training and placement part. So I think Gaurav sir, you can uh, you know tell him about something about United Group of Institutions. Yeah, sure. So, so uh, great to great to see you in person, Sabono. Uh, wonderful to see you. And sincere apologies, we know it, 1 a.m. is not the ideal time for a video call. So we will also keep it short. Uh, just to give you a brief, uh, we are uh, an educational group which is located in a city called Allahabad, which is around 500 kilometers or in American language, say around 300 miles away from the national capital. And uh, we also have an institute in the national capital region. Our major focus areas are engineering, management, pharmacy, and business administration. And uh, we have around 12,000 students in our fold doing both undergraduate and postgraduate courses. Uh, we have heard and read a lot about you, and we are very, very excited to have you. Of course, and not just excited, uh, your topic, which is so interesting, especially, so we had a preliminary talk with ma'am and we felt that uh, uh, the first year engineering students would be the most relevant crowd for your session because physics is taught as a subject in first year of engineering, physics one and physics two. They uh, carry on from whatever they learned in school so uh, we are very, very excited because uh, during your session, we feel they'll get a very new and different perspective as to how physics and in general education can be approached. So I have been brief because I know it's late night. Ma'am, if you'd like to add something to it. Yes, yes. So, uh, Suburno, um, we do have, you know, a lot of information about you, but you, if you have any brief profile of yours, you can share it with me. Moreover, do you want us to restrict us uh, or confine our discussion uh, to some very specific topics uh, related to these subjects, physics, chemistry, and mathematics? Uh, because we wanted to know your areas of expertise also so that we can focus upon those particular areas. If you think that there isn't any kind of restriction, then it is well and good. So I, we wanted to... Uh, I am not uh, that uh, good at chemistry compared to my skills in math and physics. So... Uh, I would prefer to keep it centered around math and physics, but I, math. yeah, uh, especially math. I personally think I am the best at uh, mathematics, but want to let it uh, branch out a little bit. So it doesn't have to be strictly confined to optics for that matter, uh, or really a light in general. But uh, I think that the topics can spread out a little bit. I'm also... Uh, excited to give them a new perspective as uh, likely they've already at least heard of some of the things that I will be lecturing about but I hope I can give them a new perspective and a more intuitive understanding than what they learned in school okay so as you know that we have a general discussion with you your uh, general topic is light has a brain right yes and up after that, we have kept a panel discussion and the core theme was AI versus EI. So will it be okay for you, AI versus yes. EI? Yes. Okay. So there, there we have uh, invited, you know, four members will be there, including me, because I would be acting as the moderator over there. So should I, should I run through the curriculum which we have here in first year? A very quick review of curriculum. Can, you, can I give you some topics over here? Sure. So... Very quickly, I'll share it with you. Like in engineering mathematics, we have 
you know, uh, matrices, differential calculus, uh, successive differentiation, uh, Taylor's and Maclaurin theorems, differential calculus, multiple integration, vector cal calculus, vector differentiation, and vector integration part is there. And then in chemistry, we have, uh, you know, atomic structure, chemical bonding is there, atomic and molecular structure, chemical bonding, then graphite, fullerenes, nanomaterials, uh, then polymers. So this, these are very general topics that uh, can be focused upon. And as far as physics is concerned, I'll quickly go through the content which is there. Uh, just a second. So in physics, we have quantum mechanics, electromagnetic field theory, wave optics, fiber optics and laser, superconductors and nanomaterials. So, so this, is, this is how you can choose any of these topics. You can guide us so that we can be very much focused upon those particular areas. We cannot deviate from those. The core ideas behind this session is that uh, if you, because the crowd is very relevant and they are studying mathematics and physics right now, if you know, if you can give any sort of example, how to do something in the most simplified way. Mm -hmm. uh, that would make a huge impact because students, especially topics like multiple integration, etc., they find it very difficult and they get psyched out by the sight of writing three pages of formula. So how to break it down, simplify, if you can, you know, shed some light on that, that would be wonderful. Yes, my multivariable calculus teacher taught it to me very nicely. Uh, it was actually probably the easiest part of his course. The maximum wow. and minimum part really messed me up a lot. But uh, the, uh, the multiple integrals, I mean, it's really just kind of like doing a single integral uh, several times. And setting the limits, it, uh, setting the limits of each integral isn't that hard. Uh, uh, it gets a little harder for uh, triple integrals, but it's still mostly all of the same. And I hope I can give them a general understanding of why uh, triple and how and why triple integrals work instead of making them uh, memorize yeah. methods to do everything. Correct. Correct. That's what I was going to say. Actually, uh, the session usually is more about generally how you approach your studies and different things instead of getting too detailed into a question or a formula so that kind of balance you know how better to strike yes, but really better. <laughs> yeah. share that so uh, so it would be a, a big crowd like them almost 1000 students will be there so and there would be a huge screen so i don't think that you will be able to write over the screen but we will try to make an arrangement so that pen pad is there as a screen along with the pen pad would be there, you'll write and then it would be projected over the screen. Will it be okay for you? Yes, that would be fine. That would be fine. And then we'll make caller mic, hand mic, everything would be available for you. Uh, yes, video recording will be there. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, I don't have any confusion, any doubt. We are ready at our end. For uh, every student, I hope to make sure the, uh, that they have a full understanding uh, instead of just memorizing formulas, taking things for granted, uh, trying to uh, get through everything as quickly as possible so uh, that they have a half-baked understanding of what really is there. So I hope that I can inspire them by showing them what's really going on behind the scenes instead of what they see on the surface. So, that's, yeah, that's really... Uh, amazing. In fact, what I'm learning uh, to, in order to prepare for these lectures is looking underneath the surface is very amazing for me. I always demand to know more and it seems like I'm going down a rabbit hole without any end. But finally, mm -hmm. when it connects to something I know, I feel very satisfied. So I hope that I'll give that satisfaction to every single student there in the crowd so that uh, they can move on with a more advanced knowledge or more refined knowledge of math and physics. Basic knowledge of Python, you know, com uh, coding, programming also, basic yeah. knowledge of... Taking a, a college level introduction course on Python. Okay, okay, that's lovely, that's and, lovely. So because uh, many of these students are going to be computer science engineers. Like amongst the thousand students you are going to address, 
around 800 have opted for computer science and engineering. So in the second year onwards, anything related to programming or computing, they'll take a lot of interest because that is going to be the eventual area. That is where they are going to specialize in eventually. I'm not sure if I can meet all their interests uh, with uh, uh, the computer science. You can, you, can create, you can definitely create an interest because they are not aware of programming and coding right now. They are in the first year. No need to be too specific. We're just sharing that they are going to be computer engineers. So uh, that's a relevant area because anyways, computing and mathematics go hand in hand. And I really find computer science fun in a sort of different way because you already have the predetermined blocks and you just have to put them together in order to yes. figure out what a series of code to execute. And of course, right. there's the more murky topics like optimization, but th those are also very fun for me as well. So. I hope I can sp uh, spread that to them, uh, uh, the, the people in the audience who uh, want to be com uh, computer scientists or uh, computer engineers. Great. Great. Correct. Yes, so uh, I don't have any further questions and I'm very excited to move forward with this and inspire the students of UGI. Lovely. Thank you, love you. Thank you so much. And we also do not have any questions, uh, sir. If you have any question, you can ask. Absolutely nothing. Thank you. Everything is clear. Really looking forward to your session, Sobono. Thank of you course. so much. Thank you. Looking okay. forward. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.